Good morning, y'all. Welcome back to a new vlog. It is Wednesday, and I thought we could do a day in my life because I feel like every time I want to do just like a singular daily vlog, I always feel like I don't have enough content, but I honestly haven't filmed in a while. I recently posted, but I feel like that vlog was from like two weeks ago. You guys know I'm in the middle of bathroom renovation, so I'm so excited to show you guys the updates because yesterday they pretty much did like all the tile in the guest bathroom and we are waiting on a box of tile for the primary bathroom. We ran out, so that's actually getting here today. And I'm just excited to see all the fixtures go in and our vanities because they're gorgeous. I'm also very curious to see when the bathrooms will be fully done slash like halfway done like I don't even care if I have to put a shower curtain up but just like to have a shower in there would be nice so we don't have to go to lifetime to shower anymore which it hasn't been bad honestly I'm gonna go to lifetime after this get a quick workout in and then shower it's definitely been motivation to get in the gym which is definitely what we need because um we're going to a wedding I think it's is it a month? I feel like it's so much closer than that. But we just like want to really feel good and look good. And I was looking on Rent the Runways dresses because I still have not gotten my dress for it. And I forgot that I'm going to the rehearsal dinner, so I have to get a cocktail dress too. Um, but I was looking on Rent the Runways dresses and I just didn't love anything. Maybe it was just the dates that I picked out. Um, but I also looked at Newly and it has a ton of more dresses and i've never tried newly i've done fashion pass and rent the runway but newly i always thought like six pieces because i think you only get six pieces a month i always thought that wasn't enough but if i just do it for the wedding i think it'll be perfect so i'll definitely check that out a little closer to the wedding i have a headshot session and this morning it said it was going to be overcast and usually the session would start at like 8 15 if it was super sunny like it is today but the weather app lied to me and i ended up pushing it to 9 30 because i thought it was going to be overcast so now i'm a little worried about the sun just because i don't really usually shoot in like super Super direct harsh sunlight but I mean it's still the early morning so we'll we'll make it work but I'm about to go meet my client down there before we go to the gym though we need to make some um, returns at UPS so I can't forget about that this is Waterloo Park there's so much nature there's also just like really nice neutral backgrounds and this is actually a concert venue I saw Tate McRae here at like some coca-cola event it was so cool um, but this would be cool for a headshot, just like this white in the back with these pillars. We'll see what she needs. And just like that, we are done with our headshot session. These sessions are only 15 minutes. I don't really do many sessions, like family sessions or like senior sessions or anything like that, but I know that business headshots will not take a full hour. And I just wanted it to be super easy for my clients to get those headshots like before work or something. Like I said, I was a little worried about the lighting because it's just like really, really bright right now. And I usually shoot like maybe like 30 minutes after the sun rises but it was honestly so good like the lighting looked amazing and she looked so cute i loved her blazer so now we're going to go to ups before i forget and then we're going to head to the gym i forgot that there's a lifetime downtown so this makes it so much easier it just makes sense not to drive all the way south um so i'm stopping by the ups downtown which honestly i sometimes hate doing because i just never know if there's going to be parking but i got a customer service spot so i feel like this is going to be a very good day got back home and it's 12 30 so i'm gonna make some lunch i'm gonna do my favorite rice seeds of change and then some kichari and then i'm gonna mix in some leftover butter chicken it's so nice outside we just sat out here to have lunch and sophie's being dramatic you forget that austin gets so much hotter sophie <laughs> she likes it <laughs> This is looking very tempting. Maybe I'll just give myself like 10 minutes on here. This is very much needed today. Cheers. Just curled my hair, waiting for the Lani New to kick in because I want to film some beauty stuff for TikTok. But first I want to open this package. I don't have like scissors around here. Flamingo sent over their new face razor. Since she reached out to me, I've been waiting to shave my face with this. So I feel like we have a lot to work with. I honestly just shave it like around this area like sideburns and stuff. I wouldn't say they grow back any thicker than usual, but they do grow back like somewhat fast. Whoa, this looks 
very fancy. It's also a nice weight, like it feels very professional. And they have a little refill in here. But this is called the Dermaplane Razor. So basically what this is supposed to do is kind of like exfoliate your face, take off the hair, and just make your face a smooth canvas for your foundation. Like your foundation will go on perfectly after you Dermaplane your face. Also, don't mind all my scars on my face. I've been constantly picking out my face and I literally cannot stop. Um, I actually got on a new birth control, so that's super fun. Basically, the last birth control I was on, I somehow got my period twice a month. Like, I don't even know why and how, but I was like, okay, this needs to change. I kind of like was waiting for it to regulate itself. So that's why I was on it for a good amount of time. But I was like, okay, we cannot do this anymore. So I switched to another birth control and I got it on the Planned Parenthood app. I think I only spent like $25 to like talk to um, like a doctor and then they prescribed it to me through the app and then they just sent it to my pharmacy So if you guys are not like wanting to see someone in person I mean, I definitely recommend if you're just now getting on birth control like for the first time ever See someone in person because it's like a lot to go through and just like a lot to learn about But if you just want to like switch over or get another refill I highly recommend to check out Planned Parenthood like the app not sponsored But I just thought I would tell you guys because I just found out about this like this past year I'm gonna do it in the mirror so I can actually get like a good view of my skin and like the hair on it But it already feels so much softer over here I recently saw a tiktok about this mascara hack and basically it's just putting on like one light layer a mascara which is very hard for me to like stop myself because I just like put a hundred coats um, but then you wait like maybe I don't know 30 seconds to a minute just so it gets a little tacky and then you go back in and do another coat and it makes it like so much longer so much more voluminous and I feel like I cannot go back to the way I was putting on mascara like this is just the standard now. For reference, this is layer one. The mascara I've been loving recently is the L'Oreal Telescopic. I used to shit on this. Like, I feel like I tried it because everyone talks so highly about it. But now I get the hype. Also, this is probably not like a groundbreaking mascara hack. But usually I just put on coat after coat and like it just gets really clumpy. And here's after the final coat. Oh my goodness, you guys, they brought up the vanity. Is it going in today? Holy crap. I wasn't in love with this color. It looked a lot like grayer and more cool toned online. And it's literally like orange in person, but hopefully in the bathroom it won't look as bad. They couldn't fit it through the door because that bathroom is shaped really weird. So they're literally taking off the door hinges. <laughs> Oops. But I am so excited. Like I literally have butterflies. I don't know why. It's in. I uploaded all the photos and she already picked her favorites so this is great because I can go in and edit them. My editing as a photographer is like true to color, very airy, bright, and especially for headshots I try to do very minimal editing but it's weird because like my eyes know when something's a little bit too green and knows when it's a little bit too warm for my liking because I definitely air more on like the cooler side because I feel like my photography compared to a lot of people's especially like with that trendy like warm yellow filter on it mine tends to be a little bit more cool toned so I went in and edited all these photos within maybe like 10-15 minutes but now I'm just like staring at them and I'm like is this good enough I feel like that one's too green and then I'm like switching it back over to be a little bit more like pinky toned and then I'm like that's too pink and it's all subjective. I know my clients wouldn't notice it as much as I do, but I obviously want to edit it as best as I can. I'm just sitting here looking at the before and afters and I feel like I need to be more confident in my editing because at the end of the day, that is a reason why people hire me. They look at my Instagram profile and they look at my portfolio and they're like, okay, I really like these photos not just my angles but it is really the editing at the end of the day so i just kind of have to remind myself that but i don't know if i'll ever not just sit here and like look at a photo for like five minutes i feel like i need to like walk away and then come back with fresh eyes this is the first photo she chose and this is the before after and before after it does look a little bit more warm on the camera i will say these photos are so cute I cannot wait to post them. Just sent Michelle over her photos and I just realized that it's almost five o'clock. Where the heck has the day gone? I really wanted to film 
like a sit down video, a favorites video, because I really want to start like recapping my months. But I feel so paralyzed right now because there's like people in my house and I haven't really been as active as I want to be on TikTok and like Instagram and stuff. It's just a weird feeling when people are in your house and you're like filming, you know? And I feel like the noisy part is kind of over because they pretty much did all the tile, at least the bathroom that's connected to my office. So it's not like noisy. It's just, I don't want to be like talking to myself. Maybe I just need to get over it, but I had like a lot of filming planned. I hate this. Like I have so many ideas for TikTok and reels and all that, but it's not easy to execute it. And it definitely doesn't help that there's people in my house. I am so excited about these bathrooms but I literally cannot wait for this renovation to be over. I feel like the showering at Lifetime is not even the worst part of it. It's just like people in your house. I feel like I haven't been sharing all of the like road bumps in this renovation with you guys um, because I haven't filmed in like, two, I don't know, two weeks, a week and a half. But I really wanted to have lime wash walls in both the bathrooms. And I found out that Sherwin-Williams doesn't even sell it. Home Depot sells it only online. And I finally found it at Lowe's online, but it took like a week Actually, I think it said it would take longer than it actually took, but it got here a little bit earlier. Um, but basically, it takes a while to get here. Long story short, I ended up buying way less than I needed, and I thought I was overbuying because I think we thought that we were going to like be able to rehydrate the paint um, and like dilute it because lime washing is like a couple coats, but like light coats of it. So if we just walked in my room and pushed the door open. <laughs> For some reason, there's something wrong with this handle on my door. So even if I like pull it shut, it like easily opens. Um, but anyways, so yeah, I underbought the paint. So we're gonna try your plan B because I think you can make your own lime wash paint with like adding cement in. What? My sister just called me, my dad just called me. I think I should answer. Okay, everything's all good. That was just like a coincidence, but like that just scared me a little bit. Um, but anyways, we're just gonna have to like test some paint out like some normal paint and then mix in cement and like dilute it i think that's what he was saying that he saw um online that he could do worst comes to worst we'll just paint it with a normal paint and then i'll just make sure to do lime wash downstairs in the powder bathroom don't know when that's gonna be but i definitely want to do that like within the year since i haven't vlogged in a while i haven't gotten the chance to announce the giveaway winner for the day designer planner um i closed the giveaway and put her name in the description of that video she's already been messaged so that was fun to do a giveaway on here i think i might start doing like giveaways on my instagram stories so that they're like 24 hours and it's like quicker to pick a giveaway winner i have a lot of pr that i want to give away so i might just do like small giveaways here and there so definitely make sure to go follow me on instagram i really do work better under pressure it's currently 5 p.m i need to leave the house by 6 because we're going to a galentine's day thing even though it's not february yet but i also got the skins hoodie on i purchased this like i don't know like a week ago a little over a week and it just came and I love it. I will have it linked below if you guys are wanting to check out their Valentine's Day collection. It's so cute. I wanted more things, but I stopped myself. Um, but I'm currently setting up to film my favorites video because we're doing it today. Really hoping it doesn't take me an hour to film it. But honestly, I'm a rambler, you guys know this. And I feel like it could very well take me an hour to film this. So I got my road mic set up. That is why like the sound might be a little bit different. I really haven't been filming like a ton of sit down videos anyway. So I just feel like, oh, I'm probably like moving this around and like making it sound really bad. And this is why this is a tester clip. I did recently see that DJI came out with their own like little microphone receiver things. They're about half the size, but these are awesome too and very easy to use. Okay, this is a tester without the microphone to see which one's better, let's see. I just looked at that video and it didn't even really seem like this was on. It's been so long since I've used this. I don't remember if I need to like turn a setting on on my camera. I'm so confused. Let me look it up. I got it to work. <laughs> Literally, YouTube saves my life. Guys, I'm so happy right now. I was really frustrated. And I'm like, I've used this before. Why can't I figure it out? There was like a little tiny tab on my camera that I just had to pull out and it was not connected to everything else. I was putting the jack thing in the headphone jack and not the mic jack. We are done filming the favorites video, but the sounds from the renovations have gotten increasingly louder, so I'm so sorry about that. Um, my camera's about to die, but I need to get another battery in here, and then we need to like head out ASAP. I don't even know what I'm going to wear tonight, but basically I'm going to like a candle making class. If I haven't said that already, I really should be leaving now. Ah! This is Lauren. We're at her little Valentine's Day party, and we're going to be making candles, right? Yes. Candles with a secret message. Ooh. 
<laughs> all these moms were like, can I just, can you just run a camp like for a week for like our neighborhood? And I was like, okay. So I did it. And then like, they were like, can you do it one more time? I'm like, just Venmo me for supplies. And then it was like strangers were like, "Can we come to your house?" So I ended up doing these real stuff. Which is sweet, that is so sweet. That is so sweet. That is so sweet. Um, and so at the end of the summer, I that was it. And then the next summer, all these strangers started emailing me like, "Hey, when are your summer camp sign ups?" I'm like, I don't know. I don't really. I have another business. I wasn't. They're like, yeah, can, can, can my kids stay over? Can, I, can, they, <laughs> can they move in with you? So I did one more summer. I did like three weeks. I was like, well, maybe this is another business. I'll try it out. It was fun for me too. It was like a passion project. So did it at the end of that summer. Parents were like, can you do birthday parties? Can you do after school classes? And so it's like, you know what? If the stars align and I get a building, I'm not having kids come to my house. Like, yeah, I had a house, but I'm like, we're not like schlubbing through the dog crap to yeah. get to my garage. <laughs> like we're not, no. So found a studio, signed a one year lease and kind of threw it up in the air. Like maybe this will work. And so that was a year and a half ago. And so I just moved from that location to this one. So I'm uh, saying we do kids and adults, which is why awesome. y'all are all here. So yeah. um, we do like bachelorette parties, private parties, oh, corporate great. events. We did a big bracelet bar firm in Atlanta ACL. That was really yeah. fun. Oh, so that's really like fun. DIY activation. Yeah. Um, We're about to pick out our letters. It's actually really nice. I know exactly that's what I'm going to write. That's, that's, right. that's, 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 that's <laughs> I gave her a bath last night. Are you the cutest little girl? Yes. It's at that point of the evening where I don't really care what my hair looks like, but I came home and I forgot that Ryan got me Chipotle. Thank God for this man. Because I was really needing some protein and I filmed that video literally like the second up until I had to leave. Okay, this looks like really weird. And I didn't get to eat before I went and I was literally thinking on the way home, I just need like some protein or like some meat. I would just like love like a big ass steak. And then I remembered that I got me chipotle. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. This is literally reviving me. <laughs> I'm gonna get a container though because I wanna like try to meal prep the chipotle because knowing me, I will eat a lot of it in one sitting, but it would be nice to have like lunch for tomorrow, you know? And I'm also still trying to do the calorie deficit, but this week has not been off to a great start. I'm not even gonna lie. On Monday we were driving home from the gym and we were like starving and then Ryan said like, do you want Indian food? How can I say no to Indian food? Like how, how? So I had to say yes. And that was just like not a great start because what we got obviously just wasn't the best. Butter chicken's like not very healthy, you know? And then obviously like you guys saw, we had leftovers so I had to eat it. You've been watching me for a while. You guys know the trash can situation. We really need to work on that room, but honestly it's just not a priority right now. But it is kind of embarrassing when people come over because the door has been taken off and then like our trash is just like hanging and it like looks so bad. And yes, I could buy a trash can, but like tr why are trash cans so expensive? Like what? And like I want a nice trash can, but I was just thinking actually this yesterday, once I get my cabinets over here, I think I told you guys my idea of moving the fridge over there and putting more cabinetry and like hiding my appliances. And then also, this is my idea that I just came up with, is a trash can, like a pull out trash can right underneath here. That would be so nice. Um, so I'm going to pitch that to Ryan. I've said this before in vlogs, but our cabinets are Ikea. And I know because when you open it up, there's like a tag on it and it says like the um, like style of them. And I did find a cabinet that perfectly fits like the width, but I need to measure the height because these cabinets are really high. I feel like that's not normal for them to be up so high. So I'm just not sure if it's gonna like match all the way through. Anyways, I feel like I'm chatting a lot. Tonight was such a cute event. It was hosted at Austin DIY Studio and they do like kid birthday parties, but they also do like adult 
craft nights. I've really been wanting to get more into crafts and it was just like so nice to like not be on your phone, do something fun and you get something to take home. Look how freaking cute this turned out. It looks like a little candy heart in my candle. I also made this little one and I wrote messages in both so I can't wait to light those. I might actually light one tonight. I honestly maybe shouldn't be eating this right now because sometimes I don't feel too great after my Chipotle. I do need to take a lactate pill, maybe that's my issue. But um, I am doing a workout class at like 7 a.m. So I need to like be there at like 6.45 a.m. to clean my treadmill. Um, I'm doing ultra fit at Lifetime again. I did it, I think a couple weeks ago, maybe like two weeks ago, and I actually really liked it. There's two versions of the treadmill at Lifetime, but the more intimidating one is actually so much easier to run on than like your standard treadmill. So I feel really cool because I can actually run for like more than like four minutes or like even three minutes. I feel like I can't really last that long on a normal treadmill just because I have really bad chin splints and my knees were kind of bad. I mean, even this whole time I've been just like walking and like just working out in general, my knees, like I need to crack my knees almost every three hours. Like that can't be normal. Something is definitely wrong with my knees. I got lunches for the next two days. Does Chipotle even like last for two days? I mean, probably not with this guacamole. I definitely think it's gonna turn so brown, but that's okay. As long as it tastes good, I'm fine with that. I was so close to ending this vlog without giving you guys an update on the bathrooms. That would have been so mean to me. There's been a lot done to the guest bathrooms. So I'm excited to show you guys. Tile is in everywhere. Like it literally looks almost done to me. I cannot wait to see all the fixtures in here. Obviously the vanity is supposed to go over there. Not really sure why it's over there, but it will go over here soon. Here's a better close up on the tile that we did. This vanity top is what I dream about. I love this kind of marble, it's so pretty to me. Here is the primary bathroom. Oh, I guess you guys can't see it. We were waiting on some more tile for this and they actually got it today, so I thought they would be done with the tile floor today. And I guess you can't see this tile. I can't remember the last time I updated you guys. I asked my contractor how hard it would be to take this trim off the niches. Cause I just feel like this gold kind of cheapens up this nice tile and he said it would be really hard he basically said that like he would have to buy more tile and we would have to like take the tile out and like pretty much break it to get this out and I was like okay well I don't really want to do that so I honestly felt really stupid for asking and it took a lot of balls for me to even say anything about it but worst comes to worst I think you can paint this and I kind of want to wait to see what it looks like with all the fixtures in as you can see, it's gold on here and here. So there's double niches on here and just one small one over there. But you see, it just kind of cheapens it. Like <laughs> A white or a gray, I feel like would look a little bit better. Anyways, I'm gonna wait to see what it looks like when all the fixtures are in because they're all gold. So hopefully it looks a little bit better, but if anything, we'll try to paint it. I'm so curious how far they're gonna get this week. They don't usually come in on Sundays, but they do work Saturdays because my thought process is that if we have running water and we're waiting on just like the glass, we have our old shower curtain, so we could just use that. Our shoulders are wider in this tub. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's a good thing you won't be using it. Why? Because it's not the primary. When you're happy, but the niche is nice. Yeah. The niche is nice. Oh, and on this niche, I told them not to do the trim because they did this one after. So I learned my lesson. I honestly think it looks better like this yeah. rather than with like the gold trim. Very Moroccan. Yeah. Sophie, are you excited to get baths in here? No? I'm about to take my makeup off and get in my jammies and call it a night because I have to wake up very early for that workout class. But I hope you guys enjoyed this day in my life. Let me know if I should do more like daily vlogs or if you guys like the week in my life vlogs. Let me know in the comments down below and I will see you in my next one. Bye.